They get me to MUSC, they wheel me in, they start doing all these tests on me, and they said, Mr. Scatel, you didn't have a heart attack. You had a V-fib. You're a very lucky man. Well, when he got to MUSC, the outside folks who had cared for him had done a wonderful job of resuscitating him. In Tony's case, the V-fib probably was caused by an acute lack of blood flow to the heart muscle. When heart muscle becomes what we call ischemic, meaning it doesn't have enough blood flow, it becomes irritable and can run off into a very fast rhythm, which is ineffective for pumping blood, which is what Tony had. I was a vegan. I worked out a lot. I put myself on, the, on a, a health fitness regime and an exercise regime. In fact, I, I did the day before this happened, I actually did 80 push-ups. You need to have a family doctor. You need to discuss your risk factors and your plans to maintain good heart health with your family doctor. I thought I could, uh, you know, that I was smarter than doctors, that I didn't need to go to doctors. So it had been a while since I was at doctors, probably over a decade. We don't practice in isolation here. Um, and it's not just doctors, it's nurses and respiratory therapists and anesthesiologists, the, the dietitians, and, and everybody in the hospital is working to bring the patient a good result in a nice speedy fashion and get them home. I was so impressed with the quality of the nurses because they're the ones who are minute by minute, day to day, caring for all of the small things. and just the compassion and the concern for how he was doing as a human being. How was he feeling? How was he responding? They were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Especially the doctors we had there. They were, they were great. Dr. Kratz, Dr. Lockett, you know, they were wonderful. Fortunately, Tony was in great shape other than his heart going into surgery. He came through surgery very well and has made a great recovery. If it wasn't for MUSC, I don't know if I'd be here right now. So, you know, they, they... I mean, look at him. He's completely restored to health. I mean, think about a year ago, he died. And now he's perfect. He's great. Yeah, perfect. I don't know about perfect, but <laughs> <laughs> you're perfect. I told Janie after, you know, after I died, I said, well, you know, honey, I said, you're off the hook now. I said, it's till death do us part. <laughs> so she laughed and, uh, and uh, that's, anyway, she said, she suggested, why don't we renew our vows? And I thought it was a great idea. So we, this past uh, June, we actually went to San Francisco and went to Napa Valley and with our whole family there, just our, fa just our, our children. And had, there's a lot of them. Yeah, the so there's, there's five children, so we renewed our vows. <laughs> and a son-in-law. So. Can't forget Josh. So now, uh, you know, she's on the hook again. So. <laughs> yeah.